There we were, innocently plotting to enslave humanity using a massive super weapon, and suddenly a new crime lord appears and insists to be taken seriously even though he has a fishbowl for a face. Here's what you need to know about Evil Genius 2's first DLC drop, the Cabal Pack. Hello there minion maligning monsters and studious supervillains, welcome to the channel. If you're watching this video just after we put it live, a substantial patch has just gone live for Evil Genius 2 so for more details on that, check out the latest blog on Steam or on EvilGeniusGame.com where you can find a detailed breakdown of the new improvements and changes. And there's even more going on too beneath the walls of that sinister island lair because the first batch of DLC has just dropped too. The Cabal Pack is available now and included with the Season Pass, adding a preposterous Posterous new crime lord to wage war against and a few spoils for besting them too. In this video we'll show you how to start the Cabal content, what it includes and precisely how dapper Eli Barracuda Jr looks in his new red, white and black skin. But we'll get to that. If you're new here remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell ding ding and then you'll get alerted when we try to sneak a video out so you'll always be up on the intel. Without further ado then, let's dig into the Cabal pack. I need proper prey. First things first, to begin delving into the new goodies, start a new game making sure that this box is ticked, simple stuff, then work your way through the first few side stories to tick off the very first main objective. With your lair now functional, a henchman strutting along your corridors and a few extra minion types at hand, you're all set. So check out the side stories tab and you'll see this one, giving up the ghost. Accepting this side story will get you stuck into the cabal pack. Bring lots of signal strength to this and lots of mercenaries, that's my pro tip. So apparently there's a new budding hero on the scene and he wants to prove himself by taking you down. Yeah, I think we all know how that's going to go. What sort of idiot would face us? I already accounted for this in my plans. I shall return. Well, this sort. A man who goes about looking like a big daddy from Bioshock sneezed while drinking a raspberry slushy and reckons he can obliterate you from the world stage even though the combined forces of, well, I mean, the entire globe haven't managed it yet. But no, you, you go, Espectro. It's good to have a dream. Your epic duel with him begins in similar fashion to some of the other crime lords out there. You catch his attention on the world map with some wicked deeds, lure him to your lair and then pour some boiling hot hurt down on him. And yes, sure, that is a lot of body bags he's created there, and Older Spectro is not short of a health bar or two, but if you have a decent number of mercs equipped with ranged weapons, you'll be able to pound him before he levels your entire base. But the bobble-headed buffoon isn't done here, oh no, he's got a few more tricks up his sleeve. And I am the super agent who will put an end to you once and for all. This is where things get interesting. After licking his wounds from your first sparring match, a Spectro runs off to form an alliance with another formidable crime lord on the world stage, crackshot and beautiful orator Sir Daniel. Promising him the most invigorating hunt of his life and seducing him by giving him the name Tiburon, meaning shark in Spanish, he brings the wily rifleman to heel, which is bad news for you of course because now you've got two enemies with health bars longer than one of Red Ivan's speeches to deal with in your base. Defeat them and after a bit more riling him up on the world map and researching his intentions down in your lab, you'll discover that he's teamed up with yet another familiar face, one full metal Jackie, ballistics fangirl and someone with whom absolutely not to mess. Still, this is the Spectro we're talking about, a man who thinks a goldfish bowl, a a waistcoat and a red corsage make a coordinated outfit. Somehow he sweet talks her into a collab, at least for long enough to wash up on your beach and invade your lair yet again. But after you deliver the pair a good hiding once more, Jackie's done hanging out, okay thanks bye. And so Espectro's reputation lies in tatters and he goes into hiding somewhere on the world stage once more. All's well that ends, well, not so much well as just as evil as when you began. Except it doesn't quite end there. This isn't the last you've heard of a Spectro, so keep an eye out on your side stories as you progress through the rest of the game. He has a few more alliances planned, featuring a few more familiar faces, and if you can stamp those out too, you might even find yourself with a new fishbowl-headed henchman skipping around your lair. Cheers for that. Ta! These are some pretty challenging fights and you've got to spend some resources on the world stage by ticking off the missions in order to make them happen, so it just wouldn't feel right if you didn't get a new toy or two for your lair afterwards. So once you best a Spectro and his Fairweather friends, you will unlock the R-A-Y-G-U-N. 
I'm not sure what that acronym stands for, but it looks a bit like a ray gun, doesn't it? Interrogate your captives with an added touch of cinematic flair with this massive deadly weapon. All yours now, home delivery available, probably. And if you're expecting the laser beam to linger around the nether regions, like this poor agent was, yeah, we've uh, we've got some news. Then there's this strange object, the induction chair. This is a Spectro's life's work, oddly enough. He spent years on it, perfecting those cool glowing red tubes and things. And what does it do? It reformulates the appearance of your henchmen, getting Eli, Jackie, Sir Daniel and Janet Bomb out in all new red, white and black garb. Great for adding a bit more style to your lair, not so great for a Spectro's plans to take down evil geniuses. Seriously, mate, why did you spend years of your life on this again? So that's a quick look at the Cabal Pack, available now for Evil Genius 2. There's more on the way soon too, so subscribe to us here on the channel for new info as soon as we can share it. Leave us a like if you enjoyed the vid and tell us about your favourite henchmen in the comments down below. Now if you'll excuse me, I've had a craving for a raspberry slushie since I first mentioned it. I wonder if there's a uh, concession stand here on this island. Anywhere? No?